The death of 12-year-old Rory Staunton has prompted a major New York City hospital to issue new rules for its emergency department. Last spring, Rory Staunton died of toxic shock from an invasive Strep A infection that went undetected by his pediatrician and hospital workers. My beautiful redhead, five foot nine inch tall nephew has departed leaving an utterly broken family and circular friends. Despite physical signs, he was discharged from the emergency department and told it was a stomach bug. And later, when disturbing lab results came back, they weren't flagged. I think it's very important that when everyone's seeing a patient, that you make sure that any laboratory work that's going to be available is reviewed prior to discharge, if it could affect the patient, and certainly Reviewing vital signs or vital sign changes is very important in the management of patients. According to a statement from the NYU Langone Medical Center, the hospital has developed a new ER discharge checklist and is designing a process to ensure attending physicians are immediately notified of lab results that suggest serious infection. Keeping our patients safe is our first priority, and we want to prevent this situation from happening again, the statement said. Unfortunately, in high-volume emergency departments where there's so much going on, if you think a patient is stable and you're not paying attention as you should to everything in that chart and everything in the patient's history and physical, occasionally things can slip by. Rory Staunton's tragic death has shined a spotlight on the need for better patient care. I think it's impossible to see more than 100 million patients a year in emergency departments in the United States and not have some mistakes, not have some suboptimal outcomes, not have errors that in retrospect could have been avoided. I think the most important thing is that we learn from our mistakes. Dr. Slovis recommends that before patients leave the hospital, they ask whether there are any lab test results that have yet to come back or anything that their primary doctor should follow up on. The Stauntons are now lobbying for new laws that they hope will prevent another family from experiencing a tragic loss. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.